Hello guys and welcome to yet another vlog. My name is Carl Runefeld and in this video I'm going to uh, show you how the Bugatti is as a daily driver because it is my daily driver and in this specific episode I'm gonna go to a McDonald's drive through because that is something that I ca uh, casually sometimes do with my, my Bugatti because of course sometimes I'm hungry. Right now I'm hungry. I want McDonald's. There are a few issues with the Bugatti and actually I made a video about that before, link down below to um, the full video about my Bugatti as a daily driver. But today I want to give you a very, very clear example. So let's uh, let's roll in here to the McDonald's drive-thru and uh, let's see how that goes. Here you can see the McDonald's drive-thru. Yeah, first of all, always get a bunch of attention, which is part of the thing. Okay. Hello, um, I would like to get a uh, Big Mac meal. Thanks, sir. Regular, medium, large. Uh, medium is fine. Medium, green. And a double cheeseburger. Actually, the engine is a little bit too loud. I can't even hear. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> That's a problem. So turn it off. I think I had to turn off. Can you say one more time? Big Mac medium meal, right? <laughs> no, she's angry. Um, actually, uh, so I want a Big Mac meal and okay. a double cheeseburger. Okay, drinks, please, sir. Coke, Cola. Coke, please. Okay. Coke. And um, Phil, do you want something? Just a Coke Zero. And another Coke Small. Zero. One extra Coke Zero? Yeah. Okay, that's all. So far, so good. Thank you, next to the Thank you. Alright guys, so now the, the food is uh, actually ordered. So let me just um, get around here. One thing with the Bugatti is that the turn radius is really, really bad. It's very hard to turn. And actually it's also very low visibility because I'm sitting very low. Um, actually, here. let me just jump, jump out and uh, yes, guide you. Yes, 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 yes. It's even not easy to, to get out of the car. <laughs> it's actually quite hard. It's so hard. I know, I know. Okay, guys, now you see the car from outside. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah. All right. Easy. This car looks awesome, man. It looks nice, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, but you're good, you're good, you're good. good? Yes. Perfect. All right, I made it through the corner. Now it was fine, but usually in tight corners like this, I have to put in reverse, go back and do like, because like it's really, really bad turn radius. Compared with my Porsche GT3 RS, links down below if you want to check that one out. That one turns like a go-kart. I can go almost sideways, honestly, it's crazy. So these are complete opposite cars. This one is definitely not made for daily driving in that sense. Alex? And uh, can I leave tip for you? Huh? I can't? No tip? I cannot tip. Do you get the tip when he pays card? No, You don't get the tip? No, we don't have tips here. Oh, wow. Okay, so I wanted to tip her a very nice tip, but apparently it doesn't. Yes? Uh, and as you guys know, this guy doesn't carry any cash with him, so... Cash is trash. Exactly. Thank you, Mina. I appreciate that. So we get the food from around the corner? Yes, sir. Next to Thank you. Yet another turn we have to um, to pull through, okay? You got this. Now that's a W16 engine behind me right now. Sounds pretty nice. It's... sound is so Insane. dark and evil somehow. Yes, and you can feel the engine, like yeah. the, whole, the whole car vibrates. It's insane. It sounds... Like, like it lifts you up, like yeah. the, the seat lifts you up. It sounds like no other engine. Like, I know how supercars sound like, but this, this is a hypercar. It's... 
I don't know man, it's crazy, it sounds like a real beast, a spaceship, I love it. Okay, I don't want to crash, so... So let me jump out, right? Or do you think you can you know manage? What? I think I can manage this one. Be careful. <laughs> it is tight. This is tight. Wow. You're fine? I think so. But it's very tight, guys. It's very tight. And... We're actually very, very low down. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Hey man. Thank hey. you. Appreciate that. Very nice. Take care guys. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Have a good day. So I think we should uh, park here maybe so we can eat. What do you think? But you eat properly in the car, right? I think we have to eat in the car. Now I'm gonna park right there. Turn off the beautiful W16 engine. 1001 horsepower beautiful beautiful machine all right so there are of course no cup holders it's a hypercar they didn't care at all about cup holders when they made it but actually i've seen some of the new koenigseggs they do have cup holders so maybe i have to upgrade at some point all right let me start with uh, my favorites big mac wow hell yes mm. wow Somehow this looks so wrong, like eating a Big Mac in a Bugatti. No, but so far I'm eating it quite okay. I mean, I don't have any tables with cup holders, but it's fine. Oh, you don't have? No. So what's the purpose of this one? <laughs> Nothing, right? <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to hold your phone, but since this car is from 2010... You can actually do nothing with it. It was made for a iPhone three or four look at this what? yeah it's a bit funny so these new uh, modern iPhones this is not even a ma max this is a small one it doesn't fit so my question is does a Big Mac taste better in the Bugatti or does it taste the same it tastes the exact same <laughs> come on no it's the same the Big Mac is always fantastic you got something here nice you should wipe it away ah. Yeah. How is it to drive a Bugatti as a daily driver? Well, first of all, it's my childhood dream. I always wanted this Bugatti Veyron. And this is the Grand Sport. It's no roof. And um, I love it so much. It's, um, it's not the perfect daily driver for sure. I mean, if you buy a Volkswagen or, I don't know, a Volvo or even a BMW 5 Series, that's a much better daily driver. But what comes with this car is so much more. First of all, the appearance and the the presence of this car is just very very hard to beat a Bugatti is always going to be a Bugatti there's no entry-level Bugatti the cheapest Bugatti possible is like still 1.5 million dollars but that's not only why I'm buying this car it was a childhood dream always I love this car ever since it uh, came out back in 2000 I think 6 was the first production of course it brings a lot of attention people always um, stop next to me they take pictures they are happy and you know I love it I think that it's fine I'm happy that I can uh, give people some smiles the only thing that is really a big issue is the turn radius it's really bad and the AC is not amazing also and of course no Bluetooth only CDs so I have CDs here because it's an old car guys look at that boom somehow I like the retro feel a little bit it's, it's cool I like it overall I think it's a good daily driver compared to other hypercars out there. I mean, if you take a Ferrari Enzo as a daily driver, then you will go crazy, I think, already the first day. It's just not, not meant for that at all. Bugatti is one of the few hypercars that are, in fact, somehow also quite decent daily drivers. They're quite easy to, to drive and uh, comfortable to sit in. And um, yeah, when I put it in drive mode, it's quite comfortable to drive. When I put it in sport mode, there is no point in driving slow because that's very horrible. But, but yeah, I love this car, guys. It's amazing. And actually, many people have been asking me, um, how can you buy a Bugatti? Like, do you just go to the dealership and buy a Bugatti? And the answer is yes. And I have a video of me buying this specific car, link down below. And if you go and watch the video, you will see how I bought the car. I actually paid with cryptocurrencies, uh, Ethereum specifically. And I just went in, sent the money, done, got the car out. 
it's like buying anything out there just because it's an expensive car doesn't mean that it's any different to buy it actually but uh, there were some very interesting things that happened while trying to buy this car however if you want to know more about that click the link down below to the video when I bought this car but guys now I think it's time to wrap this up um, I'm gonna eat the, my last little double cheeseburger and then I'm gonna head home and get ready for the evening leave a thumbs up down below I love you guys you are incredible because you are one of my subscribers and that means I love you to the end of my life so thank you guys and if you still didn't subscribe make sure to click the subscribe button right now and also right here there is a video popping up right now and if you take your finger and click it then you will be very happy so see you there bye bye